Hey, uh, reviews back up in here. Yo. Back up in it. It's night time. Night school? Night school. Night school. Okay, so we just came back from watching <laughs> Kevin Hart's and Tiffany Haddish in night school. school. Let me start out by saying y'all need to go back to night school <laughs> and figure out what happened to this script. Okay? I mean, I was not pleased. I laughed more in Black Panther than I laughed in this movie. I mean, that, that is... I have point. nothing... You know what? It was minimal last throughout this film. A lot of people are probably looking forward to it. If you're a big Kevin Hart fan, I believe... I know I'm not. Uh, I'm not really a big Kevin Hart fan. I like more of his stand-ups than I like his... Actual films. Actual films. Uh, and I'm kind of... I don't really care for either one to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. And it's actually his older stand-ups, not his yeah, newer Yeah, his ones. newer stuff. I, I'm not a fan. But anyway, oh, you know what? His series on YouTube, Cold as Balls, I actually laugh at that more than I did this film. Real Husbands of Hollywood. Yes. I do like that, though. I, I thought that was also good. So basically, Kevin Hart is a um, high school dropout. Um... And he's kind of like leading, I don't want to say like a double life, but he's kind of like leading the life of like a facade, like uh, so many people are on social media, um, of, you know, he's has the right car, he has the right girl, and he just trying to hustle his way through everything. Hustle hard, I see what you did there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and he tries to make his way through life that way, and it has a good overall arcing message, blah, blah, blah. Not going to spoil it, because we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Um, but overall, I mean... I'll be honest with you, my theater was not laughing that much. And it was a pretty diverse group. And there was a few laughs here and there. Yeah. Not many throughout, though. Yeah, there's a couple sprinkled laughs here and there. But nothing like, oh my goodness, this is classic. This is, I like to see. Peely, this is so fun. No, this is not. Not a single knee slapper. I mean, it's like a couple things you're like, ha ha, okay, I see what you did there. And that's it. That's about as much as you're going to get. You're going to get a couple. <laughs> oh. I appreciate the fact that uh, you know it takes place in Atlanta, and there I like shortage. I like the music, right? Yeah, there's, there's throwbacks like you, to good. Before it started off, you're like, okay, they might yeah. do something with like, this, and then it, it going. kept going. You're just like, is it? Like the music is still good. Is this is all we're going with right now. His fiance is hot. Yeah, that's that's about the best thing in the movie. It's just her. And the plot is really ridiculous <laughs> and over the top. I don't know if he, uh, Kevin Hart, and his like writing team or whoever helped him write it, if they're all just kind of sitting there just saying like, how can we do like a really weird, like I'm sure it probably sounded good on paper, and then this is just really bad execution. So I'm going to give it a whopping one star. Oh, 1.5. 1.5. I'll be nice. 1.5. Because I did laugh a little bit. So. Yeah. I mean, 1.5 one to a 2, and that's 2's being nice. My That's, 1.5 is being nice for me. Well, I mean, the fiance gets to a two. <laughs> yes, yes. If we if we factor in Megan, yes. Yes. But other than that, I mean, there's not much in this movie. I mean, they don't even pay off some jokes. There's stuff that happens. Oh, man. And you're like, okay, that's going to be funny later when he shows up. Oh, that's still not... They, they never bring it back around. Just, they just kind of leave it alone. I thought they was going to bring that back. I mean... That should have still been done like that. No? Okay, fine. You guys just forget everything that's going on. And the passage of time is just ridiculous in this movie. I don't know if it's like a year or what's going on. Well, it we seems, do have one point of re reference. I think it's a school year. Which is Black History Month. Yeah. It's a semester. So I think it's during the whole it's year. A, it's supposed to be a semester of school. But it definitely goes past that, right? It's like a, it's like, well, like you're saying, it's, it's supposed to be like a full well, year. Right? It's not even a full year if it starts Black History Month. It's February, so it's only like the last business, like the last maybe three months. But it make it seem like it's a year. Yeah, yeah. So it's, I guess it's the ending semester, basically, yeah. is what it is. Like traditionally, the ending semester. So like he's around in February, yeah. And then there's like there's a prom sequence, which everyone sees in the trailer, where they're like, they're going to prom. This nice students, blah 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 blah, and <laughs> just like. Uh, and like, that would have to be, like, 
you know, April mm-hmm. or, you know, basically for that's prom season. April, May ish, maybe. And then there's still more stuff after that. And I'm sitting there going, like, there was a whole lot of stuff between prom and graduation. Where did all that story go? I... Yeah. But so overall, we don't think you need to see this in the theater. <clears throat> I'll be honest with you. If I didn't have this YouTube channel, I wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe maybe like later on. I would have probably seen it on Netflix or something. Or for sure, later on, I probably would have got around to maybe see it in movie theater. I probably would have saw Hellfest this week. We still might do that. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Neither one of us think you need to see it. If you're a huge, die-hard Kevin Hart fan, uh, go check it out. Um, the film in general is not being really received well by critics. Um, or even moviegoers, yeah. um, it's actually kind of trending on the low. It's only popular because people haven't seen it yet, uh, and the fact that they're interested in seeing yeah. it, but everyone who has seen it after the fact is not really giving it very high ratings. We kind of fall on that side of the fence. Yeah. There are some people, like I said, really diehard Kevin Hart fans saying they thought it was really funny. Uh, you know, I mean, if you like everything Kevin Hart does, I mean, you yeah, probably you, like this too. If you like everything he does, like everything is like if you think I mean, the man can do no wrong. I think his eye you, would be like Jumanji. If you actually think he's funnier than Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock, then you'll probably love this film. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler time. <laughs> All right. Face. So, oh my gosh. Horrible comedy. Probably this probably has to be one of the worst comedies I've seen in a long time. In the simple fact that they put Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart, and they just try to be louder than each other. Yeah. Um, there is a plot, um, kind of like sub message in the whole film where it's like, second chances are real. People can change their life. You can be whatever you want to be as long as you're willing to put forth the effort. Yada yada yada. Um, it's very convoluted the way it comes out though. Yeah. Um. And then it, it also plays to the fact that if you do have a learning disability, you can overcome it yes. with the proper support system behind you. Duh! But, I mean, it's, it's, it's just so forced on so much stuff, and it's just like, the comedy isn't natural. Jokes run way longer than they need to. Yeah. Uh, comedy scenes that they set up run longer than they need to. Uh, a lot of situational stuff, you're just like, would that really even be possible? Um perfect example we were talking about earlier where one of the night school students li- jumps off the roof yeah. misses hits a pole then the stairs and his arm is like broken and you're like okay that's gonna be a fun thing later he's on he's fine fun. the next day yeah you're thinking okay he's gonna be the next day you see him he's gonna be in a cast or a sling or something like that and it's gonna be something funny about it nothing nope he's just normal the whole rest of the movie i'm like how do you just go for him? His arm is broken and back here somewhere. So all of a sudden, it's like he's good. 100% fine. And they never mention it. Nope. No discussion about it. The only thing, you know what I thought was for just a second when they were saying that, um, what's her name? The, uh, the, uh, the mom, the house, the house mom character. Uh, I don't remember her name in the film. That's how unmemorable these people were. Oh, Teresa. Yeah. Teresa, the housewife. Um, where they're like, Kevin was like, have you been here the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> and like, then they they span the camera back, and it actually looks like she's standing in a different place, but it's the same location. That actually would have been cool if they did, like showed that she was moving freely amongst them, and they didn't realize it. That would have been a cool kind of point. It'd been kind of funny. Yeah. Missed opportunity though. I mean, but she she was interesting character though. I at least I mean she was weird and awkward and over the top for most of it but she didn't she wasn't loud like she didn't have to come in be loud be all kind of just she's just kind of that awkward funny yeah and that kind of loose work because it was just a break from two other people in the movie yelling at each other uh Rom- romi Ro- Ro- romani romani malco yeah uh weeds or um also was in uh uh, Forty Year Old Virgin. Yeah, I think that's the first time him and Kevin, Kevin Hart worked together. Smart Tech, yo. Smart Tech, both of y'all. Um, both of <laughs> y'all. <laughs> that was the first time that they worked together, I believe. Yeah. And his character. When he first started, he was funny, and it kind of just like it was the same. Like the woke black guy just kind of started fading away, you know. Yeah. It first started when he came in, and he was like, "I'm woke, yo." Since I first saw Terminators. And then it just kind of went down to the thin. Like, yeah. At least they kept his, like, same thing against machines. 
Yes. And, like, technology, the same. I think that's the only kind of real running joke. That they stay with. That they stayed with the entire that, movie. And for some strange reason. Oh, and a girl in a walnuts. Fat Joe has the most, uh, like, Skype privileges ever for a prisoner. Yes. Like, they're Skyping with him randomly while they're doing things to have him included in their situations. Yes. Which obviously is not a real thing. Well, they're, well, they're supposed to be in school and then they just escape him because they're For not. school purposes. Which, which they're doing I don't even know stuff. how they... Anyways, it's, it's, it's a silly plot device. No point, really. It doesn't actually further the story at all, whatsoever. No. It maybe gets one single laugh of, you know, a WTF moment, right? Yeah. So, but anyways, nothing else really good to say about it. I don't think anything else spoiler-worthy talking about it. Um, he doesn't graduate. <laughs> like, like, originally. ten times legit <laughs> fails. He fails. And he finally passes. And he finally passes, and then they have the graduation, and then Yay. you're like, Yay. Oh, okay, I did laugh because what he said about his dad. Yes. When he said, he's like, and all the things, terrible things my father said to me, but I know he loves me, and he said it to encourage me, like the time he said that he wasted sperm on me, <laughs> and he wished he could have called that one back. I know you said that just because he loved me. And yeah. then I was like, oh. Well, the dad at least had a running thing where he just, like, didn't really show any affection for him. And he's no. just kind of like, yeah. He's like, I failed you as a father. <laughs> he's like, I failed. Like, no, dude, that... tucked in? I failed. Yeah. Yeah. So, but... like I said, like we said, Small amount of. But it's like a lot of it's the side people that like it's not Tiffany H- and we haven't None mentioned of the big names. really t- Tiffany Hash's part in the movie where she's a teacher and she's not really it's. She literally plays the same character type. Yes. Like that she does in uh was it girls? I guess she's less sexual in this movie. That's probably the first. She really Barely. doesn't. She really doesn't have... I mean, her first... Since, her first, since she's a teacher, I think that's the only... Yeah, even though, even though her first thing, when you see her on screen, she talks about her mom and thongs, but... Well, the, their mom's pastor and thongs. Well, it's her <laughs> wearing it, and then the pastor wearing it, and yes. all that other stuff. Crazy, yeah. crazy. I nice. think that's the, the furthest they let her go with that, and then the most they kept her in the teacher role. Yeah. And it, it, she wasn't needed. It really wasn't, like... Kevin Hart played off her well. It was just them doing the exact same thing to each other. And it really wasn't he, funny. There's even moments where they have them going back and forth, and then she's like, did you hurt your throat on that one? Yeah, it's just it just wasn't... They're just making noise. There's a bunch of times they're just making noise. They're not even talking. They're just making noise at each other. And you're just like, okay, like you could do something better than this. Almost like they asked them to like ad-lib or try to like improv, and then... If they like it, they'll keep it. If they don't, then it'll not be shown in the movie. But it seems like a lot of it was. So, kind of like the end of this video, we're just kind of rambling about how bad this film was. <laughs> <laughs> and we're trying to find something least good to talk about in this movie, and there really isn't much good uh-huh. to talk about. It. It's just a bad movie. In terms of a comedy, it's just... You're going to watch it and be like, why did I sit through this? I could have watched something least more entertaining, worth my time. Pretty much. And with that, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, uh, share it out to your friends. Share it to everybody. Once again, we 100% appreciate all the love that the videos have been getting. Uh, thank you very much for the thumbs up. It really does help our channel grow. Uh, and we have been little by little, step by step, subscriber by subscriber. So we love you and appreciate you. And uh, until next time. Peace. Peace.